Today's episode is brought to you by Beyond Rail Cosplay on Instagram. Beyond Rail Cosplay is a 3D printer, a foam smith, a prop maker, and a Red Hood cosplayer himself. If you take a glance at his Instagram, or if you're watching our YouTube channel right now, you'll see on the screen some of Rail's phenomenal prop work on various Red Hood helmets, alongside a Halo helm, and much more. If you want top-notch cosplay work done to fit your cosplay needs, Beyond Rail Cosplay falls directly into that category. So, hit up Beyond Rail Cosplay today and get your fix. That's Beyond underscore r-i-e-l underscore cosplay on instagram oh what's up everybody uh, yeah. welcome back to another episode of the side, side project, project podcast, podcast. Elbows. <sighs> Boom. elbows into further notice yeah man so what's up man how was your week dude i actually okay. i don't really care for <laughs> for people that don't know mm-hmm. um I, I suffer from anxiety, insomnia, and things like that. I'm good. I'm all right. I'm, mm-hmm. Knock on wood. I don't have any wood to knock on, but knock on wood. I'm, I'm good. But um, I take a, a flurry of different things. I take like, uh, you know, CBD, uh, THC tincture sometimes for different things, you know, blah, 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 a whole list of things, anxiety powder when I'm having like a bad time, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. And one of the things that I started doing recently is um, I've been microdosing shrooms. Oh, nice. Right? So I've been microdosing shrooms and uh, it's been for... I don't know, what, a couple months now, right? Yeah. A couple, couple months, I think. And um, I wasn't paying attention, I, I guess. I don't know. You know what I mean? I really don't know. I'd, I've never taken shrooms in general, like before, to have like a psychedelic trip. Uh, it's just nothing nothing against it, nothing yeah. wrong with it. I just have never done it. I just don't think it's my thing. You know what mm-hmm. I mean? I, I've never done anything, actually, ever. Yeah. I've just smoked weed. I barely even drink. You know what Damn, I mean? Yeah, we haven't lived life. No. <laughs> <laughs> hey bro i'm saying no but it's just, just not the, my some thing. of the wildest you know what, times i had were, were you know what it is dude i don't i mean despite like cannabis i don't like feeling out of control which i mean yeah, cannabis doesn't you know really what, make though? me feel out of control yeah, but i you feel know what though there, there's 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 a beauty in that because that's the problem that i think a lot of us are so used to being in control of everything and wanting to be yeah. in charge and wanting to know but, what's going to happen this next fucking second well, especially with like, me because i, I have well, anxiety I, I know, already I know your you know what i mean so different. like if yeah. i'm feeling out of control it fucks me up dude mm-hmm. but like weed doesn't do that to me we weed relaxes me except for the occasional like you know paranoia yeah. high that you get and whatnot but um anyway point point not to ramble on too long the point is is that i've been microdosing shrooms and it's been great you know it's been good uh when you microdose shrooms for those that don't know i'm not going to give you a whole fucking lecture it's just just um 0.25 or yeah you're just taking you're taking little little bits even less than that you know i think you want to start with like 0.5 grams or something of a a gram or 0.005 i think it is right i'm i'm i know what it looks like on my scale but i can't (laughs) i'm saying it wrong right now but anyway so you want to take a a little bit just to you don't get any psychedelic effects you don't have any trips or anything like that you're just reaping the benefits that it has from it you know i mean the serotonin and whatnot that you that you get and and whatnot all that good shit so i've been doing it it's been fine but the over the weekend, whatever day it was, I don't know, this past couple of days, I took, apparently I took too much or maybe, uh, I know from shroom to shroom, you know, from stem to stem or, 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 or cap, cap, to cap it, it, it the potency, potency can vary. You know yeah. what I mean? And also it, the length what, of time you've had it. Too, yeah. So. You never know. You know what I mean? But regardless, I took either too much, had one that had a high potency and man, it fucked me up. I wasn't like having a psychedelic trip because it wasn't enough for me to you feel like have a psychedelic trip, a but I could feel shit. like... Yeah, some... I think I was at work and you were texting me about that. Yeah, dude. And I was like... And then I also had some some soup, man, mm-hmm. and it just went right through me. And I don't know if it has anything to do <laughs> so with the shrooms no, actually, at all. It, 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 might, it have, might, right? It yeah. might have, though, because Roger was telling me one of the things, too, like when whenever you start going through that first experience mm-hmm. or, or first, like, you know, I mean, you've been yeah. doing it for months, but when you yeah. actually hit heavier than you A heavier you do, dosage, right? Yeah, yeah. It, it could fuck with your stomach. Dude, I, mean, I was on, I mean, at the end of the day, it's a fungi that's yeah, going exactly. into your system. I was on the toilet all night, dude. And and for like six oh, so hours the morning saying, after, what, dude. What you're saying is that you tried to take my Chernobyl throne. Chernobyl. 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 How are you Yes, saying? Chernobyl. It's a Shit place Noble. in Russia. It's a radiated dude. I was actually sidebar. I was actually walking Mila the other day, and I was watching uh, like a five minute little clip about the uh, no, 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 about the um, like animals and insects and nature mm-hmm. and everything over mm-hmm. in Chernobyl. Mm-hmm. How some of it's altered, like a lot of insects and everything are red. Mm-hmm. They're red now. Like spiders, their webs are all like fucked up. It was mm-hmm. super interesting, you guys. Yeah. Like seriously, I'm dead serious. Super, super interesting. But anyway, so the shrooms they fucked me up, dude. I, and it was coming in waves, which is what shrooms do, right? Mm, yeah. And it was coming in waves. And again, it wasn't like a psychedelic you, trip. When you peek and shit like that. Yeah. Too, so. It wasn't like a real psychedelic trip. Things weren't like 
change in colors or anything like that. Uh, colors did look a little bit more bright, I guess, a little bit more. Was, is, yeah. Would radiant be the right word? I don't know. No. But they were a little bit more, you know, brighter and, and vivid. Vivid would, I guess, be the yeah, word. Yeah. And it was like a high. It was like a high, but it wasn't a psychedelic high. Mm. But I didn't like it. It's not, it wasn't for me. The high that I was feeling, man, it was bad. But also, I mean, mixed with the fact that my stomach hurt and I was on the that's toilet probably, the whole that's time. That's what kind of threw you, you know off what I mean? a little bit, though. Like, that sucked balls, dude. Yeah. Um, you sucked balls? No, never. But, uh, <laughs> well, because you compare it to sucking balls. So I'm like, <laughs> but, uh, so anyway, that's kind that, of experience. that was my, I think, my Friday night and Saturday night, I believe. Just shit. I mean, Saturday, high. like, morning to, like, maybe somewhere between, like, 2 p.m. and 4 o'clock, yeah. it started. I, I started feeling a little bit better. Mm. By 6 o'clock Saturday night, I was fine. I remember. Yeah. But, uh, man, dude, not for me, man. If that's what shrooms are like, not for me. Huh. Not for me. It could have been a mixture of things though too, because I also take a bunch of elixirs. I take yeah, this. Yeah, um, you never know. I think yeah. once in a while you got to flush your system of all that. Yeah, shit dude. And, and which I, like I am right cold, now. Cold yeah. turkey, you know? I was. T I took CBD and some hemp oil, and then I also took this C60 that protects you from 5G radiation. I actually got to show you guys. I totally mm. forgot that nice. protects you from 5G radiation and stuff. And then I was taking this other one. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it, it, it does a bunch. I, I was mixing a bunch of shit together. It was like a fucking cocktail, and it, it fucked me up, dude. Mm. But you, you were you were working. Obviously, yeah. you guys heard I was texting yeah, that so I was I, dying. I've been, I've been working and shit like that. It, it, the workload's getting a little crazy. Like yeah. I'm coming off of four days, uh, working four days. I get two days off. I'm gonna work five days straight and then get two days off and then come back for another four. But because of the way the schedule cuts out, I'm yeah. not sure if I'm gonna work on that Sunday, which would make it five days. Fucking hey, dude. Yeah. Which brings me to uh, we we usually record on Thursdays, sometimes Wednesdays yeah, if yeah, things yeah. Uh, go wrong. But now we're gonna have to ho totally change up our. By the time you're watching this, it you're might have already. Out. It'll yeah. probably have already changed. Yeah. Um. But we now are shooting on Tuesdays, and uh, Possibly we're thinking our Thursdays. Fridays, our fr Fridays, 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 yeah, yeah Fridays. Give me a little time to edit and do stuff because you never know what's gonna happen in well, life. I mean, you I know? could edit quick but, myself, but yeah. <laughs> no, <laughs> so so yeah. we're probably dropping off Fridays. We usually try to stick to a nice weekly schedule. So far, we've been pretty damn good. We've only missed, I think, one week, maybe two. Yeah, over the because, course of time that we've done that's this, because we've had like it was like the holidays, holidays and, then we and shit like that. Yeah. Shit like so that, I think right. we're dropping off Fridays from now on. So things are going to be a little different. From At least here for on the out. time being, so all this yeah. kind of blows over. You know, we yeah, never man. know what's going to happen. So we were talking earlier, dude. The PS5. By the time this comes out, you guys have already seen it, but it dropped today you know what, as you know of this a, recording. You know what? It's, it's kind of funny. They probably heard my screams uh, all across the world of how <laughs> non-revolutionary they are. <laughs> yeah, but we always talk about. Actually, in yeah. my opinion, this is yeah, a step dude. backwards. So PS5. Yeah, they finally changed the design, yeah. dude. Yeah, they finally changed it up, which is real reminiscent. Like I was telling Chaz uh, that it, it reminds me a lot of the Dreamcast format. So like very like, mm -hmm. uh, I mean, they're going with the color theme. Yeah. Basically, it's the same. Dual, dual sense controller for the PS5. Uh, mm -hmm. PlayStation has officially revealed the PS5's controller featuring a new create button, built in microphone and adaptive triggers. And uh, as you guys can see, because it's probably on the screen already mm -hmm. or if it's not, it is it's now white. It's white. Uh, well, with a little bit that, of black and blue. Yeah, but you know what? I, I mean, this is not considering a limited edition shit. Yeah, I'm Special sure there's going to be a black version. People are going to mod as well. People are going to do all yeah. skins and shit like that. So yeah. This is the biggest change in a uh, PlayStation controller since the first PlayStation. Like, yeah. you know, I mean, it hasn't really changed much at all. Nah, the they've PS4 got, they got and PS5 slimmer, They got slightly. a little slimmer, and mm -hmm. then they got back to bulky, yeah. and then it's kind of like whatever. I dude. would say that this is a, a, a decent mix, in my opinion, between... Um, the Nintendo Switch Pro controller and a current Xbox controller. This is oh, a little okay. bit more reminiscent of those two kind of fused together with a little hint of PlayStation and boom, you've got the PS5 controller. That's what yeah. I think, dude. One Sometimes. thing that we, we were talking about earlier with, with Roger was he was saying that he hates the, um, the fact that the uh, analog sticks are both at the bottom. Yeah, that kind of I don't like that either, that, dude. That doesn't... Yeah. Ever since... Well, you know what? I, to be fair, I'm going to give it a chance. Uh, PlayStation, shout out to you guys if you since you guys are going to send us one or whatever, right? Yeah, sponsor the uh, show. Come on. Uh, so there's that, but I think I actually had to get it in my hands to see. So yeah, when I got to feel shit, it, dude. When all this shit blows over, you know, yeah. we hit like a Best Buy or some dumb mm -hmm. shit like that and then see see what's up. Yeah. You never know. Exactly. You always got to put it in your hands, you know? You got yeah. to feel it. You got to feel it first. That's how I feel. Again, he's still talking about the controls, not like balls that he first. likes to play with. Yeah. Whoa. Um, but yeah. Um, so, hey, dude, I saw this thing on right. IGN. What's your favorite game this generation? You know, we always give credit. So oh, we saw this right. on IGN. IGN. And Shout we wanted to, to talk guys. about it. I think this is actually really cool. I wish we would have thought of this before. Yeah. Them. So uh, you want to run through the yeah, top yeah. List they have a they have like a, a a list that they put up of some choices. Obviously, yeah. it's not everybody's choice, but just you know a few choices. Probably the top games. So they, they got of God of War. They got God of War, Red Dead, 
<clears throat> Red Dead Redemption 2. Forza Horizon 4. Which I never played. Yep. Breath of the Wild, which Chaz never played. I haven't got I, I gotta get to it, dude. Being such a huge Zelda fan. Yeah. Fortnite. Fortnite. Fortnite had a lot of hype behind it, but I never got into it. And but, it uh, died down. There's but still, a people su- still Super it. Mario Odyssey. Yep. The Witcher 3, Wild Hunt. And then it leaves an empty spot yeah, for the for you eighth to choose one, yours, right? yeah. So you wanna hit them with yours first? Because clearly mine is gonna be better, so it'll <laughs> you know be better for the so show. Favorite as. game of this generation. So you got to think the whole, it's like the whole console generation, Xbox One, PlayStation 5, Which brings the it back Switch. to the wars. I mean, well, I think it, I think it'd be fair to say that it's current game systems that are out available yeah, to us. Yeah, and you can still choose PC if that game is on PC. Um, yeah, because it's just as this generation This in generation, damn. I mean, when you think back, this generation, dude, that's a lot of fucking games, man. Yeah, but what's one game that kind of stuck out ahead of the pack that no matter how much you well, played... one reason that, I mean, it is on the list... Um, I'm I'm gonna I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna take a stand with IGN on this one and I'm gonna say Super Mario Odyssey mm. for me. This is, this is a real big, real big, big standout for me. I played it and it just uh honestly, man, that game is really good, dude. Like that game is seriously good. But you gotta think, you think, think deep. Generation. Like that's why Super Mario Odyssey and then like then you got like The Witcher 3, and that came out a long time ago. Yeah. You know what I mean? So you gotta think generation. It doesn't have to be even a current game. It's just those current games stick in your mind because they're current. But I gotta go with Super Mario Odyssey for me, dude. That game was just amazing. So man. I'll give you for me, uh, because like again, uh I think mine's is what is more important, you know? Oh, of for course. our progress and all that. Totally. Um, uh but <laughs> bullshit aside, I'll give you one that's on their list, which for me, out of all that, uh-huh. I would still pick God of War. Yeah? Yeah. Damn. Yeah, because I was so heavy in the fucking PlayStation and playing God of War for like a very yeah. long time. I was... I um, never, it's, I, it's, okay, I so, put it, to, to so put it to you like this, that was like my... Give it to me. That was like my Assassin's Creed. Oh, dude, okay. Assassin's Creed, man. Yeah. I love See? Assassin's Creed, dude. Yeah. I'm a huge Assassin's Creed fan. I got the Assassino on, on tattooed on me. I don't know if we're going to be That's able like to... one of your biggest tattoos, see right? See that, yeah. I don't know if you guys can see that or not. We'll try to zoom in. Yeah, maybe, you know, I'll take a picture. I'll just throw a picture up and stuff. Yeah. Um, but now, if I'm going, like, hands down of all time. Of this generation, though. Just this generation. Xbox One, PlayStation uh, 4, Switch. Well, since those are the ones that you play. You know what I mean? You, you got to really think about it, right? Because the generation, it's been, a, it's been a decent amount of time, dude. But if we, but we said anything, anything, it doesn't matter, like... Right? Or does it have to be of the current consoles? That's what yeah, I'm yeah, current consoles. This this generation. You know what I'm saying? It's got to be of this generation. You know what I mean? Call of Duty. Call yeah. of Duty because they made one of the biggest comebacks, I think. Yeah. Uh, no matter what, they, they, they unlike uh, PlayStation, mm-hmm. I think they did a very revolutionary thing where they yeah. allowed the co- uh, crossplay between with Warzone. Yeah, yeah, which more more and more uh, developers are doing yeah. that and more more games are having that yeah. feature. But yeah, I it's think still, they, I it's think, still a slim, I, slim picking. I think picking. they were just ahead of the curve a bit. Mm-hmm. And that's now going to open it up to maybe it could be the next GTA where honestly, like, yeah. it doesn't matter. I'm playing three, yeah. four consoles later. I'm still fucking going to jump on Warzone. Uh, I, I've i been playing with a lot of PC people. Yeah. Uh, I've been playing with a lot of PlayStation people. It's just mm-hmm. the way it, you know, it's really dope. It's, it's yeah. really interactive. And at first I didn't like it, but then I kind of just got into yeah. it. I started trying it out. And dude, it, we've had some epic fucking matches. If you get a good squad with some you. Some good times. Yeah. And we set you up in teams of three. So yeah, yeah. there's always, you know. Don't you love it when you get on a game and like, do you ever just, all right, look, do you ever just get on a game, dude, and you just feel so fucking joyous? Yeah. yeah. Right, dude? A lot of it comes from me from uh, couch co-op, though. I like. I, I love, like, like, honestly, like, real shit yeah. when I'm not getting sappy. I'm, yeah. being, I'm being dead serious. Like, I love playing with you guys, man, like couch co-op, because, like, you just don't really do that with many games anymore. And thank God that Nintendo's still around and enabling that. You know what I mean? Well, I think we kind of fucked up, though, because we're that that's not all we really play is a Switch and Couch Co-op. There's other games that we could be yeah, playing. Yeah, there are other things. But, I mean, it's just like, I don't know, like certain games, like... I, I want to play I, with I the wanna, big screen. I, the days yeah. of like split screen, it, it's harder now. But yeah. Nintendo still, for me, Nintendo. So I don't know. Nintendo still just keeps that that split screen if you need it. You know what if I'm gonna do? If it has it and couch co op alive like a motherfucker. I'm gonna go after like a 64. Like I'm gonna try to get mm-hmm. like a, a decent, you know, that that runs works everything. And we should like go start playing like retro games and shit like Dude, that. Dude, did you guys yeah, ever? Uh, like I say 64. you guys because Roger's sitting on the couch yeah. today. Did you guys ever play that South Park game for the Nintendo 64? Does that ring a bell nah, for you guys? I don't think I did. Dude. Well, I'm not going to waste time and look it up yeah. right now, but maybe later or some shit. I don't but, think I did. Dude, and you would like throw snowballs. It was like a shooter kind of game for South Park. Roger said he remembers. Yeah, yeah. Dude, that was so much fun back in the day. I remember playing that, dude, with well, family I'm and whatnot. Because of, like Donkey Kong 64. Mm-hmm. I'm thinking shit like that. You yeah. Know, so, like, 
Jar of Retro, Mike. Let me know if you remember when we used to play that because we did used to play it all the time. I don't know if Zane, my 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 other my other brother, I don't know if uh, I don't know if he played that with us because he was younger, and I don't think he, I don't think my dad would have let him play that at that age. Because I think that game, which is funny as fuck, which I don't think it was even that bad because it was on a Nintendo console. Yeah, but but anyway, um, so this is actually something pretty dope, right? Yeah, so dope. Uh, we're going to introduce a new segment, man. We got this new segment that we're going to introduce. We actually have two new segments we're going to introduce, but we'll this introduce one the next episode. one. Yeah, for yeah. this one, we're going to do a, a new thing, and it's called Dope Fan Art. Dope. I don't know. We'll get the we'll get the whole lingo and the yeah. introduction down well, as, yeah, as we progress. Gonna, it's know, something like that. Pop locking or some shit hey, like that. Uh, yeah. so, um, What's that? That's what? Not how That's you pop dope. Lock. But uh, uh, nonetheless, so this uh, is going to be dope fan art. And I think this is going to be something that me and Chaz were discussing that we'll throw up every once in a while. Yeah, it's and not going to be like a weekly thing, yeah, right? It, yeah. it could be a, well, it a, might, when we feel like it might be a weekly yeah. thing. It, we might miss some episodes. It's not going to be like the cosplay of the week. Maybe this the cosplay is, of the week's every maybe episode. Maybe this is the time for the people to interact with us and tell us, exactly. do we need this? You do know? we need this? Do you yeah. guys want this? So, I think it is because yeah. this is going to be something that's going to run across. It doesn't just have to be like pencil art. It, no. could, be, it could be photo editing. It could yeah. be computer 3D, generated. 3D, yeah, 3D, 3D rendering. Stuff. Yeah, uh, uh, A painting. Like you just said, yeah. you said pencil ray drawing yeah. and stuff like that. Just dope fan art in general. And it's a wide variety. Just like our cosplays of the weeks are wide yeah. variety it's just dope fan art if you got some cool fan art you know that we find or even if you want to send it to us man yeah. you know what i mean you got dope fan art uh we'll, we're gonna throw it up we're gonna give you a spotlight just like we do with the cosplay yeah. of the week so the first ever dope fan art dope. yeah i told you his karate guy so <laughs> was uh was started, chosen by julio i'm sorry i'm gonna butcher your name dude. he's turkish we believe. we believe we believe he's from turkey you want me to try it yeah I'll just okay so let you run that on instagram this week's dope fan art, fan art chosen by Julio, but I'm saying it because he can't figure out the name. I think it's Memeteral. Memeteral99 on Instagram. And he has a really, really dope uh, drawing of Ray from Star Wars. From Star Wars. And she's yep. holding up the lightsaber over one of her eyes, which clearly you guys are going to be able to tell when we put it up. Yep. Um, and yeah, this it's is, a Ray this drawing, is, Daisy a, Ridley. Yeah, and it was pencil. Uh, yeah. All done with Prismacolor on you mm-hmm. know, regular paper. It wasn't no edits, anything like that. This was just... And he has... Yep. And, well, what I like is I actually went back and I was looking more into the page. Yeah. Sometimes he shows like a progression. Like he'll show mm-hmm. like a uh, before sketch, after oh, sketch. Oh, yeah, like yeah. A, like as he's going yeah, along. Going yeah, along. yeah, And yeah. I think that's really dope, man. So yeah, shout dude. out to you, man. This is this skills, man. Yeah, dude. Mamet, memeteral? Memetral? Memetral? I'm thinking memeteral. it's memeteral. Memeteral 99. Yeah. Your fan art is dope. Sorry for butchering your name. Dope. Yeah, we apologize. <laughs> uh, um, hey, we're going to do this thing. Let's have some fun, dude. Roger, we're going to do this. Uh, okay. We're going to do a Disneyland trivia. We talked okay. about it on our 90s episode last time. And we All said right. we were going to do a Disneyland trivia. And all you right. know what, man? Fuck it, man. We're doing it today, dude. Uh, you got to get yours. So uh, we're all going to do it separately. Uh, Roger, come up. The reason we're including Roger in this is because Roger is... A very, very big Disneyland fan, as we all are. We've he attended. Practically lives there. Yeah, he practically lives there. I thought I went. Well, he, a got lot. A, he got evicted recently with this whole <laughs> yeah, with the COVID shit. thing. So yeah. it's like so he goes to Disneyland out. a lot. We all used to go together like like crazy. But um, Roger kept it going without us. We don't have the annual passes anymore. Yeah, and um, he left us. He left us all by by ourselves. So he still goes to Disneyland like crazy. So that's why we're putting him in, putting him in. He knows a lot about Disneyland, and we're gonna see if, if we, we can, can beat, beat him. him in this trivia. I mean, so I'm hey, let me turn your expert. mic on. Sorry, dude. Go ahead. I'm not an expert, but yeah. Here, make sure it's uh, that way. Yeah, I'm not an expert, but well, I mean, he was I mean, born I'm... around the time when Disneyland first. I'm not <laughs> actually open in the 1950s. Yeah. Hey, let's make sure we got. Is it? It's all the same question, right? Your first all question right. is when Disneyland was first built. Yeah, yeah. We're all on the same page. Yep. Right. All right, so I'll, I'll, I'll read the first one. We'll rotate yeah. off how we're uh, Yeah, they're sinking. all the same questions. Yeah. We'll rotate off how we're All right, we're so it's asking. 10 questions, and we're going to run through them. All right, when Disneyland was first built, what occupied the land before it was bought by Walt? Was it A? Nothing. It was deserted. An old military base? A small town? Or an orange grove? I already picked mine. I picked mine, too. I don't know if I'm going to get it right. Okay, I guess it tells you after. Yeah. Oh, I like it when it tells you right away. Why does it we say can, next, though? Then we can tell everybody. I'll you know push what I mean? Next. Oh, because it goes off to the next question. Yeah, it just goes oh, to the next okay. question. Oh, okay. man. I wish, it, I wish right. it did it right away so we could tell everybody together. You All know right, what guys. I mean? So, I, uh, okay. after building Disneyland, where did Walt always live when he visited Disneyland? In an apartment located near Disney Studios. 
above oh. the Pirates of the Caribbean ride. Above the firehouse or in a small house nearby the park. Oh, I already know this one. This one's me too. Pretty easy. See, this is what I'm talking about. Yeah. Oh, I hope we don't get a copyright. Why? Nah, you should. Because I'm doing the fucking. Uh... Oh, no, 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 dude. All right. All right. So after Walt Disney's uh, tragic death, what was the memorial to Walt that people can still see today? A large statue of Walt and Mickey at the end of Main Street. A single frame stating, we miss you, Walt, at the beginning of every Disney cartoon made since his death. Fresh flowers on his gravesite every day. A lit lamp in the window where he used to stay. Ooh. Honestly, I have no idea, so I'm guessing Well, on this I know one. some of these happen... Yeah, I already got oh, mine. Yeah, yeah. I, I already don't know if I don't easy. know if I'm... I can't believe I didn't know this one. Sorry. <laughs> I got it. All right, I got it. Number four. Me? Yeah. When Disneyland first constructed, what did the art architects use as a reference point that still exists? A carving of of Mickey in the stone floor of the castle. A golden spike. The tip of the center tower of the castle. The North Star. Oh man. Oh, shit. The tip dun, of the dun, center dun, tower dun, of the dun, castle. Dun, dun. Damn, dude. I think that. I don't know. Yeah. We'll uh, see. I feel like I know this one and I just can't think of it right now. Uh, yeah, I have right. no idea what this one is either, All to right. be honest. So, hey, Rob, you want to you wanna, you wanna read the fifth one, dude? The Matterhorn attraction is one of the most popular rides at Disneyland Park. Also contains a secret hidden within its walls. What is the... What is it? What is it? What is it in the mountain? I know this one, but... A maze of caves intended as a secondary attraction. A basketball court. A time capsule personally filled by Walt Disney. A maze of... Oh, wait, you said that one. A museum <laughs> containing scaled-down models of all the rides in the park. All right. I got it. You guys tell me when you're ready. I'm done. Uh, this is horrible. Hey. Um, Number six. Where is the only place in a park you can legally purchase and consume alcohol? In a private club in the New Orleans Square. Well, you totally skipped the first one. In the designated no, smoking they're, areas. They're different. The mm. order the, the order of, of them are different. Okay. But it's the same ones. They're just ordered different. All right. So then for me, it would have been in the designated smoking areas. Backstage where only employees can go? Anywhere in the park. I actually don't know this one. Well, is this in California Adventures the only place you could drink, right? That's what I thought, but that's not on the list. So we're just no. talking about Disneyland. Actually, so you it, know it, what? I actually do. I think I do know this one. Might be. All right. Club in you guys, let me know when you're ready. Hey, hey. Oh, no fuck, man. But he, at the time, it has changed answer. though. Yeah. Hey, hitting because, those um, but I already know the right. answer. But I feel like it's given those. I mean, answer. I don't know if I could say it. All right, no. no. So Number the haunted seven. the haunted mansion is home to 999 happy haunts with one room with room uh, for with, one more. Uh huh. What most people don't know is uh don't know is that there almost was one more, which of the following actually happened. A family scattered the ashes of their dead son on the ride. Wait, wait, hold up, hold up. This kind hold of on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Number Dude, seven. I... The Haunted Mansion is home to 999 happy hunts with room for one more. What most people don't know is that there almost was one more. Which of the following actually happened? That was kind of confusing. Okay, All yeah, right. that's why I read it again so okay. we could... A guess... family scattered the ashes of their dead son in the ride. A guest tried to commit suicide inside the mansion. An employee was almost trapped during construction. The mansion was proposed a proposed burial site for Walt Disney. Okay. I I, I think I know this one. Oh no. I changed mine. You guys let me know when you're ready. Hey. Sorry, that's not me taking a massive piss. It's just the <laughs> rain outside. I, I doubt they can hear that. Um, I doubt they're picking that up. Uh, yeah. So Walt Disney loved Mickey Mouse so much that he created hidden Mickeys. This is just simple. Mickey Mouse head, that sharp-eyed guest may, uh, be, able may to be able spot. to spot. Which one was, des or well, which ride was designed with that last one hidden Mickey? Jesus Christ. <laughs> I'm, 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 I'm. Walt Disney <laughs> loved Mickey Mouse so much that he created hidden Mickeys. This is just a simple Mickey Mouse head that sharp-eyed guests may be able to spot. Which ride was designed with at least one hidden Mickey? I had a monster, which I should have been okay. Like, it should have been leveled, <laughs> but, like, I'm Was scrambled. Was it the Haunted Mansion? Pirates of the Caribbean? All, the All of these have hidden Mickeys. It's a small world. All right, I know mine. Uh, reading those right. questions. I think I did Picking horrible. Those answers. Okay, so I'm going to get this one right off the bat. Boom, okay? number nine. So, at the train station in New Orleans Square, guests can hear a telegraph clicking away. What message, uh, what does the message say? 
Um, Nothing. It's just random the, clicks. It is the lyrics to the Mickey Mouse Club theme. It is the speech Walt Disney gave when the first park, uh, when the when the when park, the park first, first opened. opened. Okay. It is the lyrics to Walt's favorite song, Feeding, Feeding the, the Birds. Birds. Um, I believe I know this one. I, I did it's horrible on this. two, but I believe I got I it. I did horrible on this. So when Walt Disney first invented Mickey Mouse, what was the first thing Walt named him? Mickey? Mm, Oswald? Mortimer? Minnie. I know this one. Yes, Mickey. it was pretty easy. That's a good Mickey, right? Submit my answers. If you guys were doing this along with us, which I guess, I don't know, we'll see. What I mean, the, you could write it like on a paper or pen yeah, or whatever. Yeah, we'll see how it goes. Oh, okay, it does give you the answers. Shit. All right. So if you guys were doing this with us, we're going to give the answer. So if you were doing it, hopefully you wrote it down or did right, something and we, we roll, we roll <laughs> through it together. So number Damn, one, when Disneyland was first bomb. built, what occupied the land before it was bought by Wilt? And the answer is, and I got it correct, Same. an orange grove. Yeah, because it was, yeah, I fucking bombed. You got orange it Orange County, bro. Oh, Come on. Oh, I man, bombed. We got right. straight. No, like I fucking bombed. <laughs> did you really do? Yeah. <laughs> okay. I can see. After building Disneyland, where did Walt always live when he visited Disneyland? And the I'll answer was? The firehouse. Exactly. And I got it right? Same. I got it right. I got it wrong. Dude. All right. No, I bombed. Dude. It's not After Walt enough. Disney's tragic death, <laughs> what was the memorial to Walt that people can still see today? And the answer was? A lit lamp in the window where he used to stay. And I got it correct. Same here. I got it wrong. <laughs> boom, 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 boom. <laughs> Shit. All right. Um, when Disneyland was first constructed, what did architects use as a reference point and point that still exists? And the answer was a, a golden, golden spike. spike, and I got that wrong. I got, I, picked, it right. I got it wrong, too. I picked the tip of the center of the tower of the castle that's or the, what the I, tip that's, of the penis or some shit. Yeah, that's what so, I did. So, uh, number five, the Matterhorn attraction is one of the most popular rides at the park, but also contains a secret hiding within its walls. What is in the mountain? And the answer one, was... Yeah. A basketball court. Yeah. All right. Roger's like, I could say it. And Julio's like, a basketball court. <laughs> I got that right. I got wrong. it right, too. You got it wrong? Yeah. It's a basketball court. We've it's talked yeah. about it. It was like, an imaginary. Yeah, no, but we, we've, 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 uh, we talked about it when we were in the line together all the time. I, yeah. yeah. Every time, for some reason, we're like, did you know there's a basketball court? Like, every time, like, we didn't I like know. the voice you did right there. <laughs> that was real good. Number six. Uh, Where is the only place in the park you can legally purchase and consume alcohol? And the correct answer boom, was... Boom! My first right answer. In a private club in New Orleans Square. Which has correct. changed now, though, because you can yeah. actually buy it at... Um, California, California Adventure. Adventure? No, no. Inside, because you're thinking that's a separate park. Yeah, See, oh, Disneyland right. Park. This is just Disneyland. Disneyland right. Park. Yeah, yeah, okay, yeah. so the other place but, now you can buy is Galaxy's Edge at the Ogos Cantina. Well, yeah. But oh, that has changed. yeah, yeah, yeah. He's right. He's right. I've seen that. Yeah. Yeah. Sipping that Star Wars drink alcohol, just getting just getting tossed. <laughs> Number seven. The Haunted Mansion is home to 999 happy haunts with room for one more. What most people don't know is that there was almost one more. Read, Which of the following I, actually happened? I, and I the got correct this, answer. I got this right. I'll, I'll answer this one. A family member scattered ashes of their, their dead, dead son, son on the right. Yep, in the right. I, I got that one right. That's so that. right. Right. Boom. All right. right. Number eight. Walt doesn't love Mickey Mouse so much that he created hidden Mickeys. This is just simple Mickey Mouse ahead that sharp-eyed guests may be able to spot. Which ride? Uh, which 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 ride was <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> that monster's got your shit all jittery and shit. Which ride was designed with at least one yeah. hidden Mickey? And the answer was all of them. Have they all Mickeys. got Mickeys, man. I get it right. Yeah, I, did. I got it right. I got it right. He all got right, it right. All right, let me let me attempt this again. Number nine. At the train station in New Orleans Square, guests can hear a telegraph kick, uh, clicking away. <laughs> what does the <laughs> message say? <laughs> and the message right. says oh, that it is a speech. And the answer is yeah. that it is a speech Walt Disney gave when the park first opened. And I got that correct. Same. Wrong. Correct. Wrong. Wrong. Um, the when last Walt Disney one. first invented Mickey Mouse, <laughs> what was the first? <laughs> what the fuck what was that? the first thing Walt wanted to name Mickey before he named him Mickey? And the answer was Mortimer. is Mortimer. And I got that correct. I correct. Mickey. Correct. Yeah. No. All right. So what was you? I scored nine. Wait, why out are you leave? You have to see what yeah, was you your. See, you I gotta, know what I scored. Yeah, but they gotta know. Three out of ten. Three yeah, out of ten. <laughs> <laughs> I got a nine out of ten. And I got this, a 10 out of 10. And Damn. this is exactly why he's never going to show God, we didn't again. beat him. We didn't beat him, dude. We right, got it. Was it. Fun. it was the fun. average score for this quiz is a 7 out of 10, so you performed below average, Julio. That's right. He's a below average performer, you guys. 
He's a he's a that, below that was average. Fun, Thank you. Oh shit, coming in super hot there. God damn. Thank you, Roger, for uh God damn. <laughs> Popping oh, mics. You should have let shit. me turn it down first before you popped it out, but it's all good. Just don't pop it out my around bad, me. My bad. Sorry about that, people. <laughs> nah, I'll, I'll try to fix it in post. But uh, thank you, Roger, for joining us for that Disneyland trivia. You clearly whooped our ass. Though, I was right behind you, man. Yeah, fuck Roger. I was right behind you, dude. You were behind him? Um, God damn. <laughs> That's right what he said when him. you were right oh, behind shit. him. <laughs> um, All right, so man. anyway, thanks for that trivia. If you guys played along with us, man, let us know in the comments what you got. All, All right? All right. Want to get into this week's cosplay, cosplay of the week? week. Oh, that was a shit. Hot. It's all good. I'll um, fix it in post. This week's cosplay it, of the week was chosen by moi. That would be me, Chaz, aka Big Daddy Warbucks. And this week's cosplay of the week goes to Emmett Cosplay with your Red Hood cosplay coming in, protecting the city, protecting Gotham like a true Red Hood should, shooting people left and right. <laughs> Which, this is actually really dope. This edit because it has yeah, two it really bullet. Uh, looks yeah, like the bullet holes. Shots, yeah. yeah, yeah, that's really cool. I wonder if that was. Uh, it, it may be in the edit, or if that's part of his armor, or if it's part of your armor. I don't know, bro. I should have looked it up a little bit more. But uh, shout out to Amit Cosplay for your Red Hood cosplay. Um, the photographer. We, we're gonna give credit. Golf clap. Yeah, we can't golf clap for Amit Cosplay. Hey, Amit Cosplay. What, what's a what's a what, what par is the best thing in golf, right? Is it? I think is so. it? A, well, besides a hole in one. Yeah. Wait. wait is it, no, it's a hole in one, right? We're not doing this, dude. We're gonna, <laughs> I'm not gonna make myself look fucking completely stupid. It's a hole in one, yeah. right? And hole cosplay. In one. Hole, hole in, in one. one. I like the uh, eyes. So we always give credit. We're gonna start doing this a little bit more when we do the cosplay. Oh, is that the is that the uh, the, the poetry the, slam? Yeah. yeah, poetry slam, dude. Uh, totally back we, to the mics. In, in, in the probably, yeah, I'm probably gonna have to edit that. In the in the past, we didn't give um credit always to like the photographers or editors or anything like yeah. that but now we're gonna start doing that because you guys deserve it as well because yeah. you contributed to that person's cosplay or therefore you are a part of the cosplay of the week so the photographer for this cosplay is art dot hero photo maybe or hero photo either way these things are going to be up on the screen the but edit, for the listeners the, i need to say it. the edit is the pretty edit, dope it's done other the edit by is the is actually man, the myth yeah the legend by the sponsor of this week's show yeah okay dope the yeah. the, the edit was done by the sponsor beyond of this week's show cosplay. beyond rail cosplay the helmet was done by dark knight effects all of these names are on instagram uh, and it'll oh, be for up the right beyond here. for the listeners beyond rail cosplay is the word beyond underscore r i e l underscore cosplay he look likes him his up. underscores just like I do. Yeah, I look him up. That. He does a lot of cool stuff. But back to the star of this week's and the chess, uh, cosplay. The chess piece was also yeah, done oh, the by helmet Dark and the chess piece were done by Dark Knight Effects. I'm not sure if I said both or not. No, you so, said that. So, um, Amit cosplay. I mean, this is dope, dude. It's coming. It, it looks like you're coming straight out of Gotham, and it's very intimidating. I like the real, like the real comic book feel edit too. Yeah, though. it, it does. Real, it has a comic book edit yeah. feel with a little bit of real a photo realism in there. Yeah, I dig it. Um, it looks like if. If I was robbing an old lady, like the bastard that I would be if I was a villain, mm -hmm. um, it looks like I'd probably be getting my fucking ass kicked right now um, within the next two seconds. Either a nice good karate chop to the neck or, or a bullet through the throat. Um, or so both. like he karate chops you and then goes and, oh yeah exactly it's like a two in one it's a karate chop with the gun and as he as he makes contact with my neck he also shoots, shoots me it. and it goes like this and it's like really oh shit and as i'm going yeah. down as i'm going down i'm like oh fucking really cool cosplay though and then i die <laughs> He's um, stupid. so shout out to amit <laughs> cosplay for this week's cosplay of the week as usual your cosplay is amazing as we round this episode out today, man, coming in at a nice time. I like the time that we're coming in on. You think so? Like yeah, yeah, dude. As we All round right. it out, we're going to end this episode with something that uh, we've been meaning to talk about for a while that we yes. haven't been able to get to because we've been so busy doing all kinds of other shit. But now we're going to do it. Our boy, Hazard Gaming Collectibles on Instagram. Check and him out, by the way. he has a YouTube as well. He does well. have a YouTube as well. So you guys got to check that I think out. It's, I think it might just be Hazard, Hazard Gaming and Collectibles. We'll I think tag it YouTube. Post right I'll, find it in, I'll find it in post, so it, 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 it'll, it'll be up there. But he, you guys check him out. By the, by the way, real quick, before we get into the point, Hazard Gaming, he does a bunch of collectibles and unboxings and, and collects a bunch of shit. Reviews it's kind of, it's like kind of that, in the yeah. name. You know, yeah. and he does like stuff like that on his YouTube and on his Instagram. You guys should go check him out. But he was talking to us. Yeah, yeah. And you want me to do it? No, you, uh, you it, can do it. It don't matter. You yeah. can do it. You want me to do it? You want cool. to do it? I'll do you it. Want to do it? You, yeah. Me, so he me, was, You want to do it? So this is actually something pretty dope <laughs> that uh, we're gonna start doing uh, here and there. Is just like, you know you guys sending in a topic or if we see something that 
that a lot of people are bringing up in our posts, etc. When we do polls, uh, we'll consider like talking about it. And he brought up a really good point. Yeah. Uh, he he had a question for us, and it said, "When is it too soon to start mm -hmm. selling the memorabilia of somebody who passed away?" Yeah, such as uh, he brought it up. Uh, mentioning when Stan Lee passed away, yeah. that a lot of Stan Lee memorabilia went up right away. Yeah, skyrocketed. Uh, and then Kobe Kobe's, was another recent one yeah. when he passed away. I mean, which we experienced that firsthand, yeah. but like, I mean, an hour or so after Kobe passed away, things fucking, were rolling yeah, in, dude. Yeah. And I think it was and like people either, automatically selling shit. Yeah, too, dude. Like, I think it was like either a um, a pop, a, we're at day, a pop store. but it was like a day or two. It was the next day. Was it the next day? Yeah, it was the next. We day. went to this uh, store in the mall back in the day when you were allowed to go do things, and um. In we the went to this. Era, we I went like to, to yeah. We went to this back when we had freedom. Freedom. Uh, we went to this pop store in in the mall. I'm not gonna say it because I want to keep it to myself so I can hoard all of them when I decide to go buy stuff. Yeah. And uh, so we went to this pop place in the mall who gets a bunch of crazy um, pops, right? Pops like regular stuff, but genres, then also like all kind of genres, yeah, like like limited everything. edition stuff. This dude is nuts, man. Yeah. The owner of this store. He, yeah. I mean, the store is huge, and he just got a massive like Collection. so much shit, dude. It's yeah. actually really cool. Um, and then he has this private private case. Yeah. Not a private case, but like the basically like the. The elite stuff. Yeah, the ones that are like they have them in cases like this one is in. I don't know if you guys can tell There's or not. A protective I'm pretty case. sure. Protective case. And then that is inside oh, a but, big protective case yeah. with a lock on it that says don't kinda, rub your balls on it. It's like, I don't know why. I don't know why. Are people rubbing their balls on these pops? I have no clue. It's so weird. I didn't ask any questions because I didn't want to, you know, they also say don't take any pictures, don't do anything. I didn't want to ask any questions because I didn't want to get kicked out. But I guess people are rubbing their balls on pops, and maybe you guys should stop doing that. It's pretty unsanitary. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't do that. I would never rub my balls on a pop. I rub my balls on other things, but never on a pop. So when we were there, we um, saw a Kobe pop that yeah, was a day two, after, dude. Shot up to 250 bucks. Yeah, 250 bucks right away. And I mean, my shoes, I think I was. Uh, yeah, you had up. some I shoes, had a, right? I had a limited, not limited edition ones, but I had ones that came out like years ago and they shot up to like seven, eight hundred yeah. bucks. And they weren't even a limited edition, right? Yeah. They were just yeah. basic Kobe sneakers. Yeah, dude. I mean, those those actually did really well, to be fair, though, when they did mm -hmm. come out. They weren't like a limited edition ones, but, but they, they were really good. well. Yeah. 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 Um, so back to the, the, the point was the question, when is too soon? I'll tell you a fucking hour in. Or a day yeah. after is too soon. I'll tell you that. I, think, I, I genuinely think it depends who you're asking. Was it somebody attached to that person, affected by that person, family members, yeah, etc.? It does vary from uh, person to person. Because er course. everybody grieves at a different different point in their lives. They mm -hmm. take the stages differently. At a um, different rate. But I also think, though, that... I think, yeah, like Chaz was saying, that it's, uh, you know, not within days, dude. You guys got to no. give it at least a couple months. But I think it also depends on, on how they impacted the culture and what they were doing and, and, mm -hmm. and what field they were in. Yeah. Clearly, somebody like Stan Lee, like, it's, it sounds fucked up to say, but like he... You know his shit's going yeah, up right dude. away. It's unfortunate, but I it's just the way the world yeah. works. Like, I don't... Do I agree with it? I'm not saying I agree with it. Yeah. I'm not saying that I would do it, but I'm just saying it's expected. I expect yeah. it. Unfortunately, I, mean, just, I expect just like, it. Just uh, like even within like the adult entertainment uh, community, like Hugh Hefner passes or some shit like that, and then they're like, gonna be doing Playboys. Gonna, yeah. Maybe like rare Playboys yeah. are gonna go they're, up. They're gonna come out of it's the vault. Just, shit that never dropped. It's just the you way know, like, things, unfortunately. The camera on? <laughs> yeah, I think it is on. Yeah, yeah. Roger, can you check real quick? Though? I mean, yeah. come on, think about the the world. Is, money makes the world go around. Yeah, you know but I mean? honestly, people are gonna capitalize honestly, on anything though, like, to have, make a buck. Have more, have more respect for these people, yeah. especially if they meant that much yeah. to you. If you looked up to them that much, yeah. whether, doesn't matter what it is or uh -huh. what community the person was in. Yeah. But if you respect these people, have a little respect for their family yeah. who are still living and got. Yeah, because you got to think too. Like for media, instance, like dude. with Kobe, with Kobe, he still has kids, his wife. They have Instagrams. They're on social media, and they're gonna they gotta constantly see like people just trying to make a, a quick buck Vanessa off their was brave, their deceased dude. and like tragically she, deceased father or husband. Yeah, or, she she came up, she came out after and and did yeah. like a whole you know when yeah, the man. memorial and all that. So, so people, you know what I mean? But to, I guess to put a broad answer on it, uh, like I said, an hour is too fucking soon. I think yeah. maybe a week is too soon, but it's going to happen regardless. It is what it is. But yeah. we do want to know. I mean, Hazard Gaming asked us our thoughts, and here, well, here's, here's our thoughts. And now we're all asking, we're asking your guys' thoughts. So let us know in the comments, or yeah. if this becomes a promo clip, let us know on Instagram or whatever it may be. When do you think is too, too soon, soon to start selling memorabilia of a deceased person? Yeah. Um, 
And yeah. we, we talk about a variety of topics. I yeah. know we're gaming heavy and we're film heavy yeah. and things like that. And we joke around a lot and we laugh. But I mean, as you if you go if back at our, topic, our catalog, you yeah. can see that we did a whole episode on mental health. I suffer from mental health. We just like to have fun. This is an outlet for us, especially in the time right now where the world is yeah, going yeah. to shit State and everybody is all you ever see is COVID this and bad news and bad news. We kind of decided we want to be an escape from that for you yeah. guys because it's also an escape for us. You know yeah, what I mean? Which is why we're gonna, mm-hmm. we're gonna keep doing it until yeah. we basically we're gonna do what we, we do can. because. Because we want to have fun and we want to do this and we want to also give you guys something that's hopefully entertaining. And uh, but we are open to talk about almost anything, want, pretty I mean, much anything. Who doesn't want to look at this yeah. massive chest, yeah. uh, these arms, uh, my tattoos? Hey. I got plenty of them. Yeah, we got to do a thing where we showcase our tattoos. We yeah, really got to do that. Maybe I next episode we'll talk yeah. about it. Yeah. I mean, I constantly bring up this Wolverine. We got to get more too, dude. We yeah. fucking yeah. we were on a roll for a while and then it just stopped. So anyway, we we're gonna wrap this episode up, man. Shout out to Hazard Gaming Collectibles. Yeah, we fucking were. <laughs> yeah, we were. Uh, who will let them know where they can find you? Just like Beyond Rail that likes his underscores. Oh yeah. I am know. Captain Underscore Juicebox. Yeah. The mm. only juice box you'll yeah. ever want to sip. Can you sip me in one take like a little? Um, so if yeah. you're looking for me, you can find me at IG hates Chazzy on Instagram. If Which you're looking for us, might explain why you're having a lot of trouble with IG. Well, no, yeah, it's a whole fucking thing. I'll explain handle. it again. I keep saying I'm going to explain it, but I'll explain it on another one. If you're looking for us as a whole, you can find us at Side, Side Project, Project Podcast. Podcast on Instagram. We also have a Twitter that we throw shit up on every now and then at yeah. Side Project Pod. If Which you're looking for us on TikTok and you want to laugh at my stupid shit, I yeah. throw stupid shit up there uh, every now and then. Julio will get around to it. He will. And we will. Announcing and it here for the first time ever is we're going to actually get together and we're going to do a, a Bruno Mars dance. TikTok. No, we're not. We're totally not doing that. We're doing I'm, that. I'm, 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 I am boycotting that. We're doing if you that. want to look at our stupid shit on TikTok, you can find us at Side Project on TikTok. Um, With a K, not a C. Yeah. Thank you guys for liking, for sharing, for commenting and subscribing, for rating and reviewing us on Apple, on Spotify, on Google, and all of those things. I think it's actually the other way around. All streaming I think the platforms. Spotify goes in the middle. I don't know. All the streaming platforms, all that good shit. We had a great fucking time. Thank you, Roger, for beating the shit out of us in the Disneyland trivia, and we're fucking out of here. Pistols, baby.